Hello and welcome to Baker Street Coasters, where today, as you may see, we've got the Seattle Centre Birmingham. Now, I haven't been back to this attraction since my birthday, I think. I'm probably incorrect. Anyways, I shall give you all of the updates throughout the whole thing, but I'll take you along with me. Um, and yeah, it will be a good day. In fact, I don't think it will be a good day, because first it's a summer holiday, secondly, as we all know, Merlin attractions are not the best in the summer holidays, because they get really busy. But I will try and make everything of it. So please remember to subscribe, a smile always. So I'm pretty sure they just said it's not one way. Um, so the first thing we go through is the penguins. I don't think we've seen much penguins over here actually. No, there's, there's, there's no penguins there. Can't really. Now there was an incident um, in London Museum, uh, no, London Aquarium last week, two weeks ago, where basically they were told that the penguins they were holding weren't um, applicable in the area they were, and they were like being trapped. I don't think that's the case, and I just think that's pretty much a load of rubbish. It's just some people saying it. Um, there's the penguins, you can see them over there. I'm not quite sure what penguins they are. But, I think it says it, it says it over there. So, they are the Gentoo Penguins. The, okay, that was a bit weird. Um, the Gentoo Penguins, they are East Concerned. Antarctica, they're in the Falkland Islands. Uh, predator, fish, krill and shrimp. Pollution hunter. What is these transitions? Pretty sure if you're putting on the same side, don't put transitions. Um, rocky areas and their threats are pollution, hunting, fishing and human recreational activities. They are so Gentle penguin, look! Yeah. There is a semi-circle anglefish, blue enamel fish. Oh, pass, look at this one, pass, pass, This is look. so cool. And another thing I really liked, which I have done recently, they've cleaned out their, um, the glass because before you couldn't see much of it. It's really, really cool to see that. So we've got this amazing tub of water. Now this is probably one of the best I've seen in any uh, sea life centre. And that is no lie. We've got the pallet surgeon fish over there from the coral reefs. Uh, destruction of coral reefs um, is the threat. Diet's algae and krill and it's the size of 30 centimetres. Got the blue green chromis, the reef flats and lagoons. Uh, their threats are commercial use. I'm not quite sure why that is. I mean, look at them, they're quite cool. Uh, their diet is phytoplankton and has a uh, size of up to 10 centimeters. That's tiny, and they're not evaluated, I mean, they're not much in threat. And then you have the black bar soldier fish, and they have no major threat either, but they, they can grow up to size 25 centimeters. You have a tube anemone here. I think that's a tube anemone. That looks huge. Look at that. The, this is in low tide. When you've got high, high tide, you've got pyjama. I think we know where we've got pyjamas from. Um, we've got pyjama. This guy here, there we go. Um, his name's Pyjama Cardinal Fish. We've got the regional tang, which is very much like Dory. Don't know how much you can see on the camera, unfortunately. Go. I'm pretty sure he's all the rays and the sharks. I love how my camera picks all the, uh, the light rays, all the patch and the light rays. He has golden light fish, like red fish here. Yeah? 
This here is pretty cool. Uh, right, they are huge. And then looking up from the... These are absolute, this, this tank is absolutely amazing. Not the best one, not like um, London, but it really is an amazing tank. Yeah, again, I think the last sea centre I did was at Weymouth. So if you do want to go and find that video, I did put a whole POV on. You know, I find Nemo guys. I'll say find Nemo. Now these actually do turn black over time. I'm not quite sure why it is. I think the uh, I think the uncolored ones are very um, adult. Like I'm not quite sure why, but males will change to females, guys. That's cool. My camera is definitely picking this up more than my uh, phone camera. This is amazing. Yeah, again, the, the, these water, this water is a bit um, dirty. I mean, it's not up to standard like the London one, like I've said, but I can't compare it to London. London's going to be well better. We've got rays. You've got a red toothed tiger fish. I hadn't seen that yet. Oh, I think there it is over there. I can just see the red tooth in it. I don't, I don't think you can on the camera. We've got a yellow, yellow tailed uh, this yellow. I'm not quite sure where that is, but it's amazing to see. Oh, I think that's that's not it. Got Dory again. Now, um, one thing I have to say is uh, these here are way too small, these glasses, because what I've just saw is I've just thought I'd way try and get up, try and get up over there somewhere, um, and basically you could touch it, that's how bad it is, but don't touch it guys, don't you, you know how to touch it, it's very, very cool if you have to be, you've got all the rays in there, water. Yeah, so. But it's it, it just really scary how these things here are like really small. Like anyone just put their hand in and put some fish. It's not good. Especially how high they are now. But look how they are really close to you. See, look, geez, it's scary. The fact that these, these waves are just there on the... This has got to be the most scary experience ever. This way is just trying to get up out of the water. Whoa. What is this? That is really scary, I cannot lie. So, one thing I'd say is they've got screens here, but when you're looking here, there's actually no screen saying don't touch the fish. Like, there are some on the outskirts, but if like people are over there, you're not going to read this sign. 
there should be signs at least here or somewhere um, saying don't touch them because it is really concerning how the fish just come up to you like just try and grab onto like these things here it's just really concerning how that is and you don't know if you've touched them or not um, especially when the thing's so small you think younger people will be here and they'll get picked up and then they put their hands in and then who's got all that be? so it'd be really cool to see like a huge banner saying just there uh, don't touch the fish or something because they clearly don't have enough signs of telling people where and especially when like it says it there people are looking at it and it's like it moves on to the next side they have got stuff like this but it should be primarily there but we should be primarily on that poster this has got to be one of the most weirdest things ever it actually looks like you're in some sort of cinematic universe. I'm not quite sure what is here. But I can't see anything here. I'm not quite sure what's in here either. I don't think anything is in here. I mean, most of these are just selling you to uh, like starfish stuff like that. But there's no animals in here. Oh, wait, no, there is. No. I take it back. There is a turtle event. You just can't see it on the camera, unfortunately, because of the light. That is a turtle. Wow, it's a turtle. Chinese striped necked turtle. As a habitat, um, Chinese striped necked turtle prefer lowland waters such as ponds, canals, and slow moving rivers. Uh, threats invasion of red eared spiders. What are red eared spiders? I've never heard of them. Um, yeah, again, another thing, these screens just don't go on too long. So if you have a, a difficulty reading, it's not good when you're like put, trying to put across, oh, don't you know, five pounds. You're actually trying to read what is in front of you first. But yeah, those are the Chinese net uh, turtles. Oh, we've got some good lighting over here. And my camera picks it up. It's picking up more light rays than it is. You know, babe, we've got blind cave tetra. That's what they call it's in the rainforest area. Now over here we also have barred rainbow fish. So you can see it on camera. It's really bad because the light is just silhouetting these cameras. Uh, these fish. There you go. You can see it better now. But yeah, that is a barred uh, rainbow fish. Please do not touch the glass and stay safe. A little bit concerned in why. Um, I'm guessing that's a piranha over there. Does it say? No, it doesn't say, but I'm guessing that is a piranha. Those things are vital. Don't go near them because you won't have any fingers left. Trust me. They look really, really nice. Thing. I don't know what they are. It doesn't say, oh, put a fly goodie. Good goodie. Now I have mentioned this before and I'm going to mention it again, Merlin Pops don't take care in their TV screens whatsoever. The scene is at Fort Park, Chessenden, I've mentioned it more the times than every single Chessenden queue. And now look at Seedle Centre, there's no TV, like this TV isn't working. It's really cool to see some TLC on uh, these TVs, and it's really nice to know what we are looking at. Yet again, there isn't anything in there it doesn't look like. Um, which means, safe to say, that's fine, but at the same time, it would be really nice to know what they have here and why they have it like this. Yes, you're off to the now. Um, yeah, it would be really nice to know what's in here, so I'm not quite sure what's in there. Can't see anything, but yeah. And then there's more stuff over here, such as the banded left bunnies, giant catfish, Red tail catfish and a silver pod for the angler, and it's all just changed. With a stingray, and these two haven't got anything yet. There you go. Tim Foil Barb. That is a cat, uh, that is a fish name, how funny. There you go, there's the up above thing of what I showed you earlier. We went diving down. Now, these are the otters. Now this area never used to be known as the Amazon or whatever it's called. Uh, whatever it's called. It looks like Catania Canyon stuff like that. There we go. 
dirty. Oh, I don't know. I don't like the netting that's put up here, actually. They never used me netting, but now there is. Um, so, as we all know, this used to be the 4D cinema back in the day, and I've said this to you like last year in the Friendly Properties. Um, and now it is a upch cost of a VR experience. Now, one thing I hate is it's a VR, and secondly, it's uh, upcharge. We really do want to see the 4D cinema come back, but apparently that's not going to happen because to fund this thing, you need money to put forward. And we all know Merlin absolutely hate uh, 4D cinemas. Um, but like I said, I'm not quite sure how much it is, doesn't quite say. But um, yeah, it would be really cool to see this area become the 4D cinema which we used to have. We used to do like hot and all sorts of that. I mean, I get it's an upcharge. I've they've done this in other attractions, and I'm pretty sure half these VR headsets were the ones put on Galactica back in the day, 2016. So uh, that just says a lot. But we all know that VR just doesn't work nowadays. Um, it is the way forward in most attractions and experiences, but I just think VR and in an attraction, it, it really just doesn't play the part. Having something that everyone can um, experience is the way forward, I think, such as 4D cinema. You don't need to upcharge, you, everyone can experience it, and it's just there, and, you know, it's a lot of money invested into it. But apparently that's not the way that Merlin wants to go, and we all know that is just how it is, unfortunately. We've also got jellyfish over here. Hold up, remember T-Rex? Jeez, these things. Oh, you can't see them, unfortunately. Yeah, again, it all, my camera just silhouettes all these fishes out most of the time. Got an upside down jellyfish. I'm pretty sure this has just been... Oh, no. There it is. There's an upside down jellyfish. That is quite cool, if you ask me. And you got jellyfishes right here. No, you can't actually see them. There you go. There's jellyfishes. Yeah, again, you've got this thing, and I don't like these things, because it would be really good to see time to read it, they just keep you in here. I get they advertise and like donate to see like five pounds stuff, but they should really do that at the end. Or... To keep these attractions open, I get they have to do what they do. Oh, we've got a crab guy. Really, really unexpected right there, but I've just had a photo of a crab. How cool. Um, I mean, they used to do that, like to noughts and stuff like that. Uh, when the Ford Cinema was back here and they had that investment, but that's pretty cool. I mean, they've got their own uh, mascots. Now, we are just going down the stairs, and these stairs aren't really themed. All you can see is, oh, book online for, for greatest. I'm trying to be backwards. Saving, there you go. Um, but that again, it's just one of those things. Continue your dive. I mean, I've dived quite a lot. Look at this, I'm still going down. <laughs> oh, of course. And now we have. The 360 degree tunnel. Now, this is the uh, UK's only one. Well, no, not quite 360. This is the well, first UK's only one. I'm pretty sure the London one um, kind of beats this with a fashion. This is amazing. What this every single sea centre in the UK. But I say the London one is so much better. And then we come back out underneath. Oh, it's very cold here. If you're looking for somewhere cold, it's right here, guys. Um, but yeah, you come back out under where you can see the penguins, the ghetto penguins. Oh, there they are. Oh, didn't quite see them earlier, so I thought I might show you guys again. But yeah, if you, if you want a really cool place, it's just right here. And then I'm pretty sure that um, finishes our adventure here at Ciro Centre. Yes, it does, as we do come out the shop again. Um, I'll give my full reviews in a minute. So, my honest review about the Ciro Centre, uh, no, National Ciro Centre in Birmingham. Um, firstly, it was good, it was alright. I mean, it hasn't changed much in the last years. Uh, thirdly, I do. So, first or second? Oh, well, 
Um, secondly, I do not agree with the 4D cinema uh, being replaced with VR. That is something that really was not needed. And the fact that Money and Merlin have just all combined together and just went, oh, upcharge attraction, it just isn't the way forward, unfortunately. I get it gives you a different experience underneath the water, but I'd say this is just not right. Um, we definitely need a 4D cinema back in all Merlin and see our centre. Um, now, I never think the placement's really good. The National Sea Life Centre, the national bit has been dropped, and I've said this last time. Not quite sure, uh, too, well, not quite too sure why that is, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so, anyways, that is it from me. Please remember to subscribe, smile always, and I'll give you my full review later on.